This tutorial will demonstrate a powerful new tool in Image Pro Premier 9.1 and higher. This new version has added features that give every user additional functionality for measuring the thickness of various objects. First we'll go to the Measure tab in Image Pro Premier. And we'll notice that in the Relative group there is an incremental measurement option. By default this option will be grayed out. First measurements must be drawn and two selected for this to become active. First, we'll draw a line in this simple example using the Direct Measurements Line Tool. We'll draw the bottom of one edge, and then we'll draw the top of the second edge. For this tool to work correctly, we'll first use the Selection Tool and click on our first line of interest. This will be considered by Image Pro Premier the reference line. Second, while holding down the Control key, click on the second line of interest. This will be considered by Image for Premiere the object line. Now we'll notice that as both lines are selected, our relative groups have become active, and specifically our incremental distance tool has become available. The first item to choose is the step size. This step size will be the distance between vertices in pixels. It defines how many pixels apart the line should be spaced on the object line. For example, if you specify 5 for the step size, the thickness sampling lines will be spaced 5 pixels apart for the length of the object line. In the Type drop-down, this control will select the option that describes how you want the thickness sampling lines to be drawn. The first one is the shortest. If you choose this option, Image Pro Premiere will draw the line as short as possible, sampling lines from the object line to the reference line. The starting points along the object lines are equally distributed according to the interval defined by the step size above. I'll select the shortest and choose incremental distance. By zooming in, we notice that the incremental distance tool has created a line every five pixels from the object line, or other words, the second line clicked. Zooming back out, we'll try this again. We'll select both of our lines, and choosing our incremental distance tool, this time we'll choose equidistant. And now, notice the difference. We're no longer looking from the object line to the reference, looking for the shortest distance, but instead, we're going to be drawing lines equidistant. If you choose to select this option, Image for Premiere draws the thickness sampling lines from the object line to the reference line, and in this case, the step size interval is applied to both lines. Each point along the object line is connected to its corresponding points along the reference line. Now let's go back again, choose our two lines, and this time from our incremental distance, we will choose directional. Notice when we choose directional, our auto angle becomes available. If we like, we can leave this option on, which is by default, or we can choose the angle and degrees that we'd like our line to be oriented by. When auto angle is selected, the angle is calculated automatically based on the object and the reference line, simply drawing a best fit through the two. In this cross-section example, we'll choose a larger step size of 20. We'll use directional and our auto angle. This gives a good distribution of lines across our thickness and gives us an, a good understanding of the length of all of our lines. Note that the first and second line are going to be our reference and object line that we have previously drawn. And the rest will be the length of all our incremental distances. In addition to this, our tool can be used for different types of images. In this second example, we're not going to be using straight lines, but a polyline. I can draw with a polyline across the thickness of this layer. At the end of my line, I'll double left click and then continue on with my second line. Double left click at the end again. Now, as I did before, I'll select each line, hold down control and then activate my incremental distance tool using a smaller step size of 10, directional yet again, 
I can create an incremental distance measurement between two polylines. In a different example, I can use two circles to create incremental distances as well. I'll choose my circle tool from the direct measurements. Right click to choose my selection arrow and slightly adjust my circle to get into position. Next, I'll do the same thing and draw a smaller circle and position this one as well. After creating my two circles, I'll choose which to be the object and which to be the reference. In this case, I want my center circle to be my reference and my outer circle to be my object. Next, I'll choose my incremental distance, directional and auto angle on, and I will tell the tool to create my thickness measurements. Now we notice we have a powerful tool to measure multiple distances through the thickness of a sample even if we have a closed polygon. In our next example, we'll show two irregular polygons. I'll choose from my direct tools my polygon. And I'll draw all the way around the area that I'm interested in. Much like our last example, I'm able to create two different polygons, double left click when I'm completed, choose my arrow, select both, and create a relative measurement between the two of them. Seeing as how I have two polygons with irregular lines drawn, my step size is going to follow the object line and not the reference. It will calculate a directional line based on the internal polygon. As with all the measurements in our data table, they can be exported to Excel or can be combined to view the statistics of all measurements. In this particular case, you may want to choose your first two polygons, highlight them both using Shift, and hide them so they do not end up in your statistics. In this particular case, you would be able to see the mean value, minimum and maximum, and even visualize in a nice data histogram. If you have any further questions about this or any other tools, please contact your media cybernetics reseller or local representative.